So I'm glad you said, how do we get to a point where we're preventing, right? Because mm -hmm. we've seen such a proliferation of attacks and breaches that uh, I think there's been a tendency for people to throw their hands up and say, you can't protect, you can only detect and respond. And, and I think whether you're looking at a data breach situation as either an agency head or a, or a CEO, being able to say very quickly, I know somebody stole all of our intellectual property or PII is not a tenable place to be. If you move that into ransomware and attacks that have physical consequences, right. that, that prevention becomes even more important. And so I think what we need to do is look at cybersecurity as a math problem, which is right now it is far too inexpensive to launch a successful attack. We need to apply basic blocking and tackling, capabilities like CDM, complemented with um, more advanced capabilities. So as um, within our uh, advanced persistent threat, we are generating right now, based on our zero-day detection capability, over a million new preventative measures every week. Um, that doesn't just go to a security operations center for people to sift through and figure out how to plug it in. That, in an automated fashion, goes to 30,000 customers on the firewall side so that the prevention is automated. And so what we need to do with this math problem is we need to stop manually defending against automated attacks. We need to bring machines to the, to the defensive side and up front into prevention. We need to prevent not just at the network perimeter but throughout the places within the attack lifecycle hmm. that the bad guys need to be good. And, and on top of that, then you have people and response to focus exclusively on the things that matter most and that people are most qualified for.